Greetings, my name is Jay, and welcome to another unboxing. I got this in the mail today, and uh, yeah, so I'm super excited about this. Just to show you what it is, it's Albert Odyssey for the Sega Saturn. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. I've uh, been trying to beef up my Sega Saturn collection because I only have about eight games uh, uh, at the beginning of the month, but now I have a few more. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll show you. Um, recently, I've picked up uh, Virtual On. Uh, it's a pretty fun uh, robot beat em up. I've also picked up Croc, um, which is a 3D platformer for the system. Uh, I guess it's a substitute for uh, Super Mario 64. Um, very hard to control if you don't own a uh, Sega Saturn 3D controller, which I ordered, um, imported some in from Japan, and the game is a lot easier to control. It plays the way I would expect it to instead of tank controls with a D-pad, which, although is cool on some games, like I like it in Resident Evil, but anyway, and one of my favorite games of all time, um, uh, Romance of the Kingdoms 4, just simply so that I could... Uh, Kind of wanted to play it again soon. Maybe something will come up on my channel for this. Uh, most likely, anyway. Um, and I want to compare the PlayStation to Super Nintendo to the Sega like, Saturn version because I own all um, three copies that were released in North America now. Anyway, onward to this. So um, let's just bring this down here so that you can see what it is that uh, is happening. And uh, I got rid of all identifying markers. It's a reused Amazon box, actually. You can see the little smiley face uh, somewhere in there. Um, and uh, yeah, um, props on the amazing shipping. Uh, the other Saturn game that I ordered online on eBay was shipped in bubble wrap, and I have no idea why. Uh, it's notorious that Saturn cases snap. Uh, anyway, so without further ado, let's get this thing open. And this is a complete copy of, uh, oh, let's get rid of this. This has got my address on it and stuff like that. It's a complete copy of Albert Odyssey. Um, Albert Odyssey was actually one of the reasons why, as a kid, I wanted the Sega Saturn. Um, but then whenever it was released, that Final Fantasy VII was being released on the PlayStation, and I spent my money on the PlayStation instead, which in hindsight was probably the better idea. But I've always wanted to actually play this game. And emulators are notorious uh, for um, not working correctly, and uh, I've never actually played this game, but I have watched a Let's Player um, play it, and it came in a nice, I knew it was coming in this, uh, plastic wrap casing. As you can see, the game is in very good condition. Um, which is excellent. I actually won this um, in an auction. It wasn't to buy it now at a fairly decent price, actually. A little bit lower than um, what I was expecting to have to pay, which is always nice. Um, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So I guess whenever I pick up Guardian Heroes, I'll probably bite the bullet then. Um, and yeah, here we go. So it looks like the case is... Uh, this is where they always snap. As you can see, uh, this case of Croc... Um, it's starting to crack right there, and this one's actually cracked all the way down, and you can actually just, there you go. I did not just damage it, that is already done damage. Um, gluing it can help, but uh, just be very careful with these types of cases if you ever want to start collecting them. Anyway, let us open and look at the game. First we'll look at the disc. It's got beautiful artwork. I love Working Designs packaging. Um, if anything, collecting the Working Designs uh, game library um, and uh, it is well worth it. And the quality of the disc looks very, very good. And the manual. Of course, with these types of manuals and the thicker ones, as you can see, this always happens. You can't really... They were like this whenever you bought them, too, as far as I'm aware. Um, I never had a Saturn until late high school, early college, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so the manual's in really, really good shape. That's what the artwork looks like on the front. And it still has its... Um, some people don't think this is a big deal, but I do. It still has the gamer response card. I think these are really fun to just read out and... Uh, and uh, answer. Um, never really write on them, but uh, just asking you what consoles you own, what magazines you read, just so that they know how to advertise to you. Now we do that through Twitter and Facebook, and 
uh, the internet and whatnot, but it was really cool to do back then, and I'm actually impressed. The inside of the manual's color, I, um, I didn't know what I was actually expecting. Um, I've never watched an unboxing of this game, but uh, the pages look really, really good condition. Here's the map of the world. And the NPC characters. I do know a little bit about the game. Uh, you're a character called Pike. Uh, you're basically out on an adventure. It's a very JRPG um, style game. Um, there's a lot of NPCs. I haven't watched a full playthrough because I kind of didn't want to spoil the whole entire thing. Um, controls on the terrible um, North American Saturn controllers and how to play in case you don't know how to play RPGs just looking to see if there's any other artwork list of spells because the information is probably not actually in the game um, some translation notes working designs actually made some uh, notes about their translations because um, I find them very good some people hate them uh, and um, I, I like the comedic aspect of it. Um, I know the original Super Nintendo Japanese version with fan translations, uh, which I have played around with a little bit. The translation's a little bit more serious, but that's not what Working Designs kind of did, or I, well, I guess did, because they're not around, unfortunately, anymore. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Um, Albert Odyssey, uh, Legend of Eldeen, complete in box for the Sega Saturn. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, might do more in the future, who knows. As I get more um, Saturn uh, games, I'm keeping my eye out for Guardian Heroes because I would really like to play that through with a friend. And on the actual console instead of on the 360. That stupid emboss, we couldn't beat him, but uh, we never actually retried. So to be fair, we probably could have we tried. Okay, so welcome to part two of my unboxing. We're actually plug it into my console uh, I have lots of consoles, um, and, uh, see if the disc actually works, because the picture, um, itself isn't necessarily, uh, sorry, the disc facing itself isn't necessarily the game working. Uh, hopefully that focuses. I'll show actual game footage. Um, if you're curious, uh, I actually have RGB SCART, um, here, and it's going into my, uh, Framemeister, uh, which goes into the Hop Hog uh, HD PVR60 uh, to record at 60 frames a second because it does matter older games. This is the uh, Sega Saturn controller uh, and controllers that I bought. Um, in case you're curious uh, what they what they look like if you've never actually seen one, which makes controlling uh, Croc a lot better. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't actually have an actual camera, so this is just my webcam. Um, and uh, let's just put it on my boom mic uh, for recording. My friends and I were playing Fantasy Star during our Fantasy Star weekend. I really hope that focuses. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to open up the Saturn. Ching! created the mystic kingdom of Fargasta. It is said that there the Eldean brothers and a sister were born. Unfortunately, as they grew, the black dragon Vlog sensed the power of the Eldean clan and sought to destroy the Eldeans and their enchanted kingdom. As the Black Dragon began its murderous assault, the three siblings combined their power, dealing the wicked beast a mortal wound that spewed vile blood upon them. Once word spread that the dragon was no more, the people of Forgasta rejoiced in their newfound heroes and reveled in thoughts of eternal peace. However, the revelry was cut short when one of the three claimed Madriger, the foul sword crafted from the very soul of Vlog. Taking the title Immortal Emperor, he 
set about destroying all that was pure in the land. Though many fought the Black Tide valiantly, all were crushed by the insane power of the Fiend Sword. Soon it was clear that each of the Eldian clan had gained immortality by means of Vlog's blood. Redoria had moved to darkness, while Esten and Cirrus shone brightly in opposition to his advance. The battle of the immortal spanned days, and Redoria's strength was growing with each passing second. When it seemed as if there was no way to stop her power mad brother, Cirrus quietly called upon the one secret power she had hidden from her brothers and transformed herself into the Holy Sword of Eldians. It was a final desperate act to counter the vicious and undeniable power of Madriker. Surprised but determined, Eston took the Holy Sword, raised it high, and cast a mighty blow towards Redoria. The resulting blast sent tremors through the land for untold distance. As the bold and curious alike approached the battleground, they found no trace of the Eldian clan. Redoria, Esten, and Cirrus had vanished. Many thought that the tragic legend of Eldian had thus ended. Alas, it had only just begun. Well, that was a pretty cool intro. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Albert Odyssey, Legend of the Aldine. Um, this is going to be really fun. Um, I am going to be Let's Playing this game. Uh, probably won't happen until middle of the month or end of the month. We've got uh, things going on, uh, Kendo-wise. Um, that's going to kind of prevent me from playing some games during the weekends. Um, but, uh, I've got things to do. And also, I'm Let's Playing, uh, Dynasty Warriors Godseekers right now, and Samurai Warriors 4, and, uh, this just came in, uh, today, so I'm probably gonna be playing, well, uh, some of the, uh, campaigns in Samurai Warriors 4 too, um, as well. Maybe we'll get to or two Warriors eventually, too. Um, we shall see, time will tell. And I've got some Tanning Star Online footage that I need to upload, and, um... So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to open up the game here and uh, see what the, uh, to show what the actual graphics of the game look like. Uh, they're very anime cartoonish. Uh, it's 2D uh, RPG, so, right, the beginning of story. So, um, I'm probably going to omit this part. Um, I like how the game is really narrated. That's uh, really, really cool, but... Uh, Stay tuned and subscribe for more content. See you later.